special containment procedures. As of 12 November 2006, SCP-603 will be stored in a dedicated computer system in Laboratory 12A, Observation Room 1. Access to the system must be remote via the Foundation's internal network. Dot. Personnel wishing to access SCP-603 must request a temporary password. A standard SCP-603 password will expire 24 hours after being issued. If you need access to SCP-603 for more than 24 hours, please contact Dr. Brown. Physical access to Observation Room 1 without direct authorization from Dr. Brown is prohibited. SCP-603 is never to be left activated unattended. Description SCP-603 is a self-replicating computer program capable of reproducing and extending its own source code. The first version of SCP-603 was written in 1996 by a graduate of the University of S. Personal Computer was obtained by the Foundation in 1997 after investigating multiple anomalous occurrences. In a 2003 interview, stated that the original source code for SCP-603 consists of approximately 12,000 lines of ANSI, ISO C. This claim has not been substantiated. Upon startup, SCP-603 begins generating new versions of its source code in separate threads of execution. SCP-603 does not modify its own memory. Instead, it maintains an internal copy of source code that is repeatedly modified. In a normal completion of SCP-603, all source code will appear in a new directory called, Source. In addition to internal and external modifications of the program's functionality, alterations and additions to semantics and language structures are made with each iteration. Due to its continually changing nature, the language has been dubbed, morphic. When given a list of source files, SCP-603 acts as a compiler and linker. Morphic code is always compilable by the version of SCP-603 it came from. However, old versions of the program can rarely compile code from newer versions. When compiled, an executable file called, Megaprime, comes out of the program. Recent versions of SCP-603's source code consist of approximately 70 million lines of highly confusing morphic. Versions of SCP-603 are archived at its latest version as number. For more information about the versions of SCP-603, see document. When allowed to run without interruption, SCP-603 will generate prime numbers increasing from 2. Upon reaching a super prime, there is a possibility that a GPU accelerated window will open. The contents of this window vary. The process is deterministic. The same version of SCP-603 will always open a window with the same super cousin and display the same scene. If the scene accepts any form of input for the user, accessing with the same input in separate runs will give the same result. Most of the scenes are accessible by a single version of the program, however. Some scenes endure through multiple compilations, often with variations. It is common for some lingering scenes to evolve with each version of SCP-603. Although some, such as, dies, have remained unchanged since the first iteration. SCP-603's most notable scenes are documented below. Other recorded scenes can be found in the supplemental file 603, FT 2012. Dies, SCP-60344, Die presents itself as an interactive text adventure game. When Die starts, the following phrase is seen on the screen. 
Your head beats louder and louder as you fight through the jagged bush. You look through the haze to the silhouette at the old lighthouse to the north. The faint glow of hope so violently extinguished by your foolish deeds. Now it's just a distant and unattainable fantasy, to which you know you'll never be able to return. A message appears below the sentence, and the player must enter commands and send them with the enter key. Using the look command reprints the previous sentence on the screen. Attempting to go north will result in the message, you cannot go north. Attempts to travel in any other direction will result in a similar message. Attempts to carry out the other actions result in the message, you cannot do X. Where do X is the action entered by the user. Attempts to perform actions on objects such as pick the apple result in the message, there is no apple here. Or similar. To date, the only command found to progress in the game is die. Upon entering the command, the player will have immediate cardiac arrest and the message, as the world around you fades into darkness. You know you deserve the consequences of your actions. Is printed on the screen. This message remains on the screen until SCP-603's process is complete. The effect of the die command occurs even if it is entered remotely. If two or more people enter the command dies, all participants will be affected. For example, if one person enters the word die and another presses the enter key, both players' hearts will stop simultaneously. Currently it is not known if it is possible to win, die. If dies begin during a SCP-603 session it is recommended to simply terminate SCP-603's process. Attempts to resuscitate users affected by the die command with means such as RCP have been successful. Any new experiments testing the effects of dye must be performed in the company of medical personnel at the discretion of Dr. Brown.